to go. The referee is Stay happy. Up. Tara Stanley raises the arm, gets this game underway. Sorry, sorry, sorry. England against My France friends. in this international. A little bit scrappy there from the Play French on, early on. doors. And it's really two sides need to settle quite quickly, Kyle Abel. Sorry. Good yards gained extra there for England. Jones takes a place at acting half. Takes it herself. She's got support. Crowell on the right hand side. Decides not to pass it. Tries to go herself. Tara Jones will do that all day. She was met earlier by Balassi, but this time by Borak. Here's Cunningham once again attacking on the left hand side. Okay, there we go. Amy Hardcastle. She sends through. Here's going to be the first try of the afternoon. It's going to be England. It's going to be Amy Hardcastle. And England finally breaks that deadlock. Yeah, yep. great try. That just came off the back of a, you know, a great run by Shona Royal. A cu couple of really quick plays. Tara Jones went behind the rope, frags on the back foot, and that's where the space is created. Yeah, a couple of times earlier on in the piece, they seen that that, that that combination, that link between Cunningham and Rudge. But this time, Rudge is out the back, and she supplies a beautiful pass to Hardcastle, who steps hard off her left foot. And when that girl's running at that pace, she's so difficult to stop. <laughs> Getting back Jones, into position as Jones goes to acting half to Stott. Stott looks for support. She's got it coming through. She finds Vicky Whitfield. Whitfield oh. going forward. Yes. And there's yes. a second try for England. Easily done in the end. Good build up, good position, and England extend that lead. Yeah, it's Paige Travis with the try. Just a hard line underneath. Managed to get the palm out and palm people off. She was in terrific, terrific form, particularly in the playoffs. She's a real strong and tough key player. But it's this double drop off there steps off a right foot there's a huge hole she manages to get the ball down yeah great try this is where this is where we spoke about these french forwards who've who've got through a, a lot of work and just are starting to tie now and, and to the, front, the try it. line the referee says oh, no just looks, short that it goes jones like keeps it there. moving rudge sees the gap rudge that goes for it rudge gets the try england now very much in command all come off the back of hard, strong carries there. Whitfield, I mentioned when she came on the field that she'd been in terrific form and she just does what every front row should do and just really carry with intent, purpose and vigour. Gets her aside a quick play of the ball Alice, a metre short Alice. of the line. And as a result, you know, the France right edge is at, at sixes and sevens there. Look at the space. Rudge just shows the ball. Slide and defends one metre off your own line. You can't do that. You've got to commit, got to land on a body. And if you just wait and back off, well, Rudge, she's too class. And she'll do that, no problem. Yeah, the French defence. Yeah, absolutely, three. Sharon. Uh, you know, obviously England now, with three carries and straight away over the over the halfway point of the field. And, uh, yeah, they'll just look to sort And that's a lovely oh, ball there. Ball. Rudge goes through. Great back. ball from Rudge. Back to Cunningham. Cunningham up the centre of the field. Will she be caught? No, she won't. She will kick out of that tackle. And okay. Jodie Cunningham yeah. gets the second half off to an ideal start for England. Jodie Cunningham with the first try of the half. Yeah, and it all comes off the back of three, three outstanding carries. But it's this ball from Cunningham there to Rudge. Them two know each other inside out. You know, the bigger the game, the better they seem to play. Supplies Cunningham back, who just has the presence of mind and, and pace to get under the post to make a simple conversion for Tyra Stanley. Yeah, great push down. as well from Jordy as well. You know, the real textbook there, pass the ball and um, push up the middle. And that ball did well to hang on to possession for England, did Shani Crowell. And once more, England try and find a gap up the centre of the field. I will stop, go wide. Stop finds Rudge. Rudge goes. Rudge stays on her feet. And Rudge goes in. That's her second try of the game. It looked like it would have been Cunningham a few moments earlier. But Emily Rudge is the try scorer for England. Yeah, look how tight the French girls are again. Like when the, when the ball went to that right edge, I think, you know, it was just a quick count. There was 11 players within, within the that half of the pitch so you know they, they, they're gonna get some real joy just getting that extra one two pass out and away from that rope Start then the drop out from underneath the post England in a good position they really could do with some more points on the board here from that English point of view Shani Crowell goes forward inside the 10 looks at the offload and finds it with Jones and Jones goes in what a straightforward effort that was in the end but good work from Shani Crowell in the build-up Tara Jones a try scorer yeah great offload there and I think fans have just switched off I think the tackle have been complete and they'll just wait for it to set and they just, you know, three in the tackle there, four in the tackle and then they've just, she's just turned her back thinking, oh, the tackle's done and... Yeah, Lagoot there, she then. switches off thinking that the ball's complete. Well, it's not, it's not until the ball's on the floor. Unfortunately for France, the next time the ball is on the floor, yeah. it's with Tara Jones and her hands all yeah, over okay. it to the left of the post. Yeah. Zero. Rachel Woosey certainly has Move. pace. She scored two in the Challenge Cup final. Zero. As St Helens beat York City Knights on that occasion in June.
Goldthorpe now from acting half. She gets that around one defender. Now she tries to get a bit of pace into a game. Good support from Caitlin Beavers, her Leeds teammate. And Caitlin Beavers canters behind Jean, that try Jean, line Jean, 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 Jean. and scores for England. Very much wrapped this game up now, but what a combination between the two. Yeah, super stuff. Rachel Woozy starting it all off. You know, everybody else has just watched the ball go over the dead ball okay. line, but she's the first one to pick up the ball and react and again transition defence into attack and it's from here that Goldthorpe can do what I said earlier, beat anyone one-on-one, -on -one, steps back inside and as you know, that supplies the pass there for Beavers who can just stroll in and go to the left-hand side of the sticks. It's 38-0 with a kick to come. Yeah, great push, great try. You know, that comes back Sorry. from the urgency in that kick return, the urgency yes. to pick the ball up and get you to go. This is the last of the set for France. Okay, no, it's back to Syria. Involved. It was very much taking the ball for the kick again this afternoon. Beautifully taken by Patrick Tortine. Back inside and France get their first and probably only try of the game. Through Melanie Bianchini, France get off the mark. That's a huge score. They all come running in, celebrate. Why wouldn't they? Well, it's not given yet. Robert, can you take a look? No, the referee going to uh, refer it to the video referee who is Robert Hicks this afternoon. A try given on the field. So let's see how this looks when we see the, the replays from this game. Where was the from the try, I should say, we assume. My initial thought was I couldn't really see anything wrong with it. Maybe a possible obstruction as the kick gets caught. But other than that, everyone's on side for me. Yeah. This part here. Maybe, no, that's a try for me. I, I can't see how that can be chalked off. It's a great finish. And it's probably what France deserved. They do deserve something out of the game. And the kick across field taken beautifully by the centre, Zoe Pastra Cortin. Yeah, I think England will be disappointed with that. I think the kick pressure, there was no, you know, she had all the time in the world to, to put that kick where she wanted it. I, you know. See these pictures on BBC showing it across the country hopefully to inspire the next generation of players coming through. So a 40 points to 4 win for England. You can see the emotion on the French players' face, just the fact that this game has even been staged this afternoon. But a comprehensive win for England, seven tries in total, two from the captain, Emily Rudge, as England have beaten France by 40 points to 4.